There is just a time when things end, Lone will say. Even for the greatest impressionist in Saturday Night Live history. For Daryl Hammond, that moment came last September. The man famous for his lip-chewing Bill Clinton, his dirty Dawson Sean Connery and, for more than a decade, his Donald Trump, was sitting on a bench near his apartment on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, smoking an American spirit, when he got the call. The country had changed. The candidate had changed. And Lorne Michaels decided, SNL's, Trump needed to change. Now Alec Baldwin would don the yellow wig. With season 42 approaching in a wild election year, Hammond was told the Trump gig was no longer his. But it wasn't Michaels who would deliver the news to Hammond. The SNL boss outsourced the detail to longtime producer Steve Higgins. Higgins and Hammond were old friends, both arriving at Studio 8H in 1995. They worked closely on some of Hammond's best material during his then record 14 years in the cast. The pair had also managed what couldn't be seen on TV, behavior that would have shocked viewers, including Hammond's backstage self-harming incidents that left cut marks on his arms and the 2009 drug binge that landed him in a crack house during his final season as a cast member. All that seemed behind him. A sober Hammond had returned to SNL in late 2015 to reclaim Trump after an unmemorable three appearance run by Tyron Killam. The comeback kit, the Wall Street Journal declared, and Hammond, anticipating a greater role in the fall of 2016, moved back to New York after five years away and spent the summer taking notes on the candidate. Then, Higgins called.